Hey guys, it's SJ. I hope you're good. Hope you're having a really good day and thanks for popping by my channel. Today's video is um, about a brand new parenting buzzword that I'm sure you've heard, especially if you're into like the gentle parenting, positive discipline kind of movement, I guess, that is happening at the moment. Um, and it is loving limits. So not that I'm loving limits, <laughs> it's about setting loving limits as a way of describing um, an alternative basically to bribery, punishment, coercion, and all the stuff that we find ourselves relying on as parents basically to get through the day disciplining our children and um, it's about really moving away from that kind of controlling behaviour and I've talked before about what is gentle parenting which I will link more about um, not punishing and not rewarding and that being a really interesting new method of parenting basically but it kind of is like well what is it then are you just really really permissive um, just say yes to everything and you have to say no you have to guide them but loving limits is the way that parents are now trying so it's a really interesting one so Loving limits is basically saying a positive no to the behaviour and a positive yes to the feeling. <laughs> so I found I can see for Hippie saying that. But it's lovely, isn't it? So it's basically a way of saying no without um, making them feel like you are just saying no for no reason and also letting them know that their feelings are still valid. So I've got some examples of sort of positive ways to say no to your kids in situations that we find ourselves in because I always find that I want examples <laughs> like just tell me how to do that because I think it's always good as a mum to have something up our sleeves like literally that's all I research about because I want to when I'm at that tough moment with one of my children just to be like ah, I know what to do here that's not going to lead me down into this awful route of the punishment and consequence I hate punishments and consequences whenever I do them I end up feeling terrible they end up feeling terrible it drags the mistake on for so long and it doesn't get to the root cause and um yeah I've oh every single time I try I'm a miserable punisher basically um but I'm a good loving limiter so I'm going to give you the examples that I've written down based on just everyday things I come up against put them on my phone so I've tried to look at how to put loving limits into practice from different ages so if you have a very 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 young baby and you're just starting that kind of you know they're doing dangerous things they're opening drawers they're doing um putting their hands near the fireplace whatever it is that you need to constantly be saying no 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 um and it's difficult but a really more positive phrase that i used um from when i had freddie is not for babies and the reason for that is they're seeing you do stuff, so they're like, well, mummy can open the drawers and mummy can um, put that on the shelf and to climb up on the sofa and sit there and all the sorts of things that you're doing. It's confusing for them. So a loving limit way of saying it is not just saying the no, but saying not for babies and never using the word naughty. Like, it's not naughty to open a drawer and then they'll be like, well, why do you open the drawers? It is not for babies. And it explains to them that it's okay for other people to do it and that um, for them it is not okay. For slightly older children, I think this works pretty much from toddler right the way through, is the phrase, I won't let you. And I read this lovely thing that said, the most important thing for a child to hear after I love you is I won't let you. So it's saying that for children they love boundaries and they feel safe and secure and protected if their parent is guiding them and I always take my Maria Von Trapp <laughs> example of being firm but kind so I won't let you is a great one so I won't let you hit I won't let you bite me um, is a really you know you don't need to shout it you say it firmly and use your serious face so that they know there's a difference there um, but it is a really important limit in a loving way without just saying no naughty punishment it's I won't let you so I really really love that one it's one that's meant a big difference to me in my house as well and I can use really often and I see working really really well so let me know if you've done that or try it and let me know how it works it's a really good one for older kids um, as they start to refuse and you're a bit catch-22 um, I don't want to go to school I don't want to eat my dinner um, and I have done another video on what to do when children are just refusing to cooperate which I don't know if it will be up before or after this one um, 
but it's a really really difficult space to be in and just to be like no you're going um is controlling and it kind of doesn't work and then they're all just the enemy and that's not fair because you aren't the one who is saying that they have to do these things often if they've chosen to do something and then they don't want to um so a really really interesting phrase and this is from the book how to listen so kids will talk and talk so kids will listen which i will link below um is the problem is so whenever you're setting a limit or you're saying a no you follow up with the phrase the problem is and then you state what's going to happen oh this was really helpful to me so i was like i get that i'm not you know saying the no or okay i understand the, the positive yes to your feeling you're feeling really sad about going to school today okay that's great where do i go from there so it's knowing then the problem is the school are expecting you there because every child who's registered needs to attend school it's the law or the problem is if you don't go today you're going to miss out on PE and that's one of your favourite subjects or whatever it might be. I normally go to the every child is expected to be in school and your headmistress needs you there and it's the law um, because that is true. <laughs> or I refuse to eat my dinner, I don't want this, it's not what I fancied, I just don't want it. Um, oh, every time, with three kids, never please everybody. So I say, well the problem is there's no other dinner, this is healthy for you and I won't let you go hungry. Um, and it makes them feel so loved, like I won't let you go hungry. Um, suddenly somebody's caring and you're telling them you've got to eat your dinner but they feel kind of loved and cared for. So um, I won't let you and the problem is are really good, mash up together for the halo of parenting. <laughs> <laughs> I really really love these I just don't want to come across as like got all the answers because I don't I read them and I try them and I love them to pieces um, and they do really really work so I hope you've enjoyed those loving limits examples I hope you buy into the whole loving limits thing I think it's so brilliant and I think it really explains how positive parenting gentle parenting isn't permissive parenting it is just that second half of I love you I won't let you and being able to um, help your children without controlling them and without sort of putting this bribery and consequence on which it's just constantly a battle for you hard to juggle in your own mind let alone for them to be like oh if I do this I've got this punishment this consequence but I do this I get this reward it's so tough we get ourselves entangled with it and this is a way of just stopping all of that setting the loving limits saying no to the behavior and yes to the feeling and using some of these phrases I hope really really help I'd love to know any more you would add in the comment section below there's a few more positive parenting positive discipline gentle parenting videos coming up on my channel because it's something that I'm loving at the moment and I'm just all over reading and listening to podcasts about it I will link my Amazon storefront with all the books that I love um, below in the description box as well so you can go ahead and do some research of your own if there's anything you'd like me to talk about next time let me know and say hello <laughs> and I'll see you very soon bye guys